What's up YouTube? According to YouTube analytics, I can see only 19.9% .9 is subscribed to the YouTube channel. You want me to eat? Make more videos? Hit that subscribe button. What's good YouTube? Thank you guys so much for watching a brand new video. We just hit 3000 rating and it's literally crazy because I'm the first Demon Hunter in the entire world to actually hit 3000 CR and it was us playing Demon Hunter Elemental. Like, can you imagine DHL? We're playing DHL and we hit 3k CR in threes. It is crazy, man. But in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to beat Rogue Mage. And I mean, like, every Rogue Mage. I'm gonna teach you guys what they do, their ring conditions. I'm just gonna teach you and show you how to beat it because if you don't know what to trinket and how to react at certain situations, it's gonna be a really rough matchup. So, it's a highly requested video and it's time to teach you guys. How to fucking beat these rogue mage disgusting players, man. So, I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are ready to learn with me. Okay, let's get into the video. Alright guys, so rogue mage 2v2. This also applies to 3v3. So, rogue mage, you play the same way against them, right? So, I'm playing with reverse magic, call of darkness, and entertainment. And I'm also playing with netherwalk. Just to be super, super tanky. I'm also playing with the darkness legendary. So, I, I have my auto proc legendary. Um, so, my call of darkness will save me. And I don't have to trinket some goats, right? So Rogue Mage works like this. If you have trinkets available, chat, okay? If you have trinkets available, you will not die. Okay? Rogue Mage only wins if they force trinkets and you have no outs. You, you you cannot press anything. That's the only time they will win. Um most of the time what happens is that the rogue will put a cheap shot or a sheep on your healer and then they will kidney you or cheap shot you. Okay? So theoretically you will always have time to react if you actually look at your healer and you're like, okay, what is he doing? Did he get sapped? Did he get blinded? Did he get killing shot? Did he get cheap shot? Did he get dragon breath? Something. Then you know there's going to be a go on you and then you can pre-do stuff as well. Um, so this opener is not that good for us because my healer is going to get blinded right now. And I should have actually pre-blurred at this moment. But I didn't expect a blind to come in so soon. It was such a random blind. Like I, I, I never saw this. So I don't actually use anything. But my healer uses his trinket. And they instantly open on me. But this, this is where I meant you can pre-do stuff, right? So you can see the rogue puts a blind on him. He's in the global. The rogue is literally over here, right? I have time if I wanted to press blur or pre-dark or pre-do something. I had time. You always need to look out for moments like this, okay? I didn't do it and it actually costed me to... Even though my healer trinketed, look at this crazy shit, right? They instantly procked my darkness legendary and then they run. But this is what rogue mage does. They force your cooldowns, they burst you, and then they will run, okay? They just did their go, so you need to, like, I should not line, I should not try to get topped or be scared. I need to, I know that I need to engage right away. So I just I beam first, before I meta leap on top of him, so my I beam gets reset, so I get the more value. And I just go on a mage, alright? Just gotta get pressure out. Pressure, 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 pressure. That's all I need to do. Um, and we just have to think, like, okay, what is gonna be up for the next go? So my healer has no trinket. And I do have Trinket, right? So we're not scared. And at this moment, I see, again, my healer gets kidney-shotted right at this pillar. And the rogue is right here. He gets kidney-shotted. So what do I have to do? I instantly press my blur. And that's when I put my pre-blur up, um, up on this go. It's very simple, okay? You see a kidney-shot or whatever on your healer. And he has no Trinket. You need to use something. If I have not used something here, if I did not pre-blur... I would have had to trinket and like netherwalk or trinket blur or trinket darkness and then they would win the next go if you pre-do stuff against rogue mage you actually can prevent trinket usage which resolves like i said in the beginning of the video that if you have trinket available you cannot lose against rogue mage okay so they pop their combustion on me and i instantly react i know my blur is not going to save me and combustion is dangerous okay combustion and a dancing and they were popping their cities on me. I'm gonna die through blur. I trink it. I reverse this. And we survive the go. Okay. Now this is very difficult. Because we are on the back foot. We have no trinkets available. What do we do? Yeah. So I just go. Ink up the rogue there. Just to stay healthy. Keep him in combat. Always. If you can. Always keep the rogue in combat. Don't let him, don't let him restart. Just like that. And I go on the mage. Okay. So chat. Listen. We have no trinkets for me. I have no trinket, my healer has no trinket. The next go, it's an auto lose, right? So I'm just trying to do pressure 
before anything happens. I know I'm still one second on cheap shot DR before they can make a go. So I'm looking at the rogue positioning. At this moment, I'm not even... I'm hitting the mage, but I'm looking at the rogue, right? I'm looking, what is this rogue doing? So, Mahila tries to pre-link uh, something, I guess. And I'm just... You, you can see, I'm just standing here, waddling around. I'm going to slow down the speed a little bit. And I see there's a kidney shot on my healer right now. So I instantly press my nether walk to survive this go. Alright. If I would not have done this, they would have had a perfect go. And they would have uh, killed me in this. Because it's a full sheep, I would have not survived this. They also had duo, right? So we survived one go because of this. Just by pre-doing stuff and checking out the DRs, reading the DRs out. But we are still losing. Alright. And this is literally because... We didn't pre-do anything in this matchup, um, so we are actually pretty much on the back foot. The moment where I had to use my trinket, I should have maybe pre-darked or pre-nethered or something, so I didn't have to use my... Um, I shouldn't have pre-blurred because it, it, it was not enough because they had combustion ready, right? So, <clears throat> here again, um, at this moment you need to think, okay, what do we have? We have no trinket, he has 40 seconds uh, left for trinket, I have one minute left for trinket. And I see I'm off cheap shot DR in two seconds. Okay, my healer is off sheep DR in six seconds as well. So I know they can actually kill me right here. They kidney my healer, and I see the rogue is instantly coming towards me, and I instantly press my darkness. Right, I instantly press my darkness because I don't have my darkness legendary available, nothing like that. So I actually prevent this to go entirely, and they get a full sheep on my healer. You can see, but we still survive this because of it. I just got super low, so I just dispelled the last second of my healer, so he can just pop his ascendance and top me. And now we have our trinkets back. Lontar has his trinket back, and we should be fine. But the game, like after four or five goes or four, three, four goes, you should be able to land a kill on the uh, on the mage. And at this moment, we wouldn't have actually have had anything because I would have been off stun DR again in, in like two seconds, and we had to win because his trinket is ready in ten seconds, and it's brutal. But yeah, if you guys can see, like, what I want you to do or from this video, or what I want you to learn, is that if you don't have cooldowns, you need to pre-do stuff. And if you don't pre-do stuff, you will fall behind against Rogue Mage. Okay, guys, so game two, same build, everything's the same, and we're facing the same Rogue Mage again. I see that the Rogue is right here at this edge of the bridge, and I see that the Mage is over here as well. Um, but my healer, I see he gets in combat, and since he's in combat, and the Mage actually hit my Spectre side off, I'm just going to go on the Mage instantly and get some pressure out because i knew that the rogue was on this bridge right here i know like there's no way that he's gonna go walk like this right like this is the fastest route that he will walk so i'm just gonna toss an eye beam try to get the rogue out and i just instantly imprison him so they cannot have a go and we are actually in offensive pressure so i stun the mage insta he uses his trinket and we're just doing a lot of damage right i was in the global unfortunately as well but they actually blinded my healer and they beat me and they're gonna go on me my healer will instantly trinket this, and I think what he's gonna use, he's just gonna heal, and they actually should, should they, it was, it was a good go, I mean, it was a piss go, because they didn't use combust or any major cities, it was a blind go, we, they use, uh, my healer uses trinket, and that's it, and then they shadow we duel me to reset, but I see that the mage has a earthen elemental on top of him, so I'm just gonna chase the earthen elemental to see what he's doing, um, because he's hitting the mage, just to stay close to the mage, right? So, at this moment, we are. This game is going really well for us, right? We got the Mage Trinket, we got uh, Blind Out, I have my Trinket available, I have literally Blur, Darkness, my Netherwalk ready, and my Darkness Legendary ready. So, we're, we are so ahead of this game. Just because we didn't let them have their opener, because I inked the Rogue in that opener there. We proc the Mage, we get Block, and I see that the Rogue actually stepped to my healer, and my healer is Flashcrafting. Now, the only real kill target right here is Lontar, because he has no trinket. If the mage DBs me or sheeps me, I will have to be the one to trinket, right? Like, if they CC Lontar, I will still have my own trinket to react, like trinket netherwalk. So they're gonna try to kill my healer here. And I'm just waiting until what they're doing, right? So they actually DB me, they kidney, and they will also pop their combustion right here. I won't hesitate. You can see he's like around 80% HP mark. I'm not gonna hesitate and or wait. I see that they're committing their cooldowns and we are winning. 
I'm just gonna trinket my trinket darkness for my healer and get instantly offensive again, right? That was their goal. They gotta play. They got my trinket. But that's about it. Um, so just chasing earth ele elemental, chasing down the mage, and that's it. Just gonna land the kill here. There's nothing that they can do. We still have netherwalk. We still have blur. If something is gonna be happening on my healer, because we are still immune to everything for like four seconds, you can see. The healer is still off cheap shot DR as well. And the mage is just gonna die. He actually gets skinny shotted here. And I know I'm still fine for two more seconds, right? You can see. And this is why you should never ever really panic. They are panicking. They kidney shot my healer. I'm not gonna pre-blur right away. I don't care, dude, because I'm still on stun DR. And I'm gonna wait. After I killed him, you can see. After I killed him and I got on stun DR, I instantly pressed my blur. Alright? Watch your DRs, guys. It is so so big when you play arena and you actually keep track on your own drs against rogue mage it's half of the game all right guys let's jump into the third video so we're facing a different rogue mage team this time and we actually get a really good opener my healer actually earth grabs the rogue so his entire opener is literally ruined and i tell you this guys if you can manage to get Ruin the opener of a rogue mage, you will be very, very ahead in the game. So, I go on the mage here, and one important thing, guys, is do not line your healer out of... Um, like, don't line your healer once you get CC'd, because if you get CC'd and you're behind the pillar, you cannot get dispelled, right? So, I actually get Nomad here in a very awkward pot, and you can see my healer is at this position. And if I do not get a dispel on this, the rogue can get a restealth, and it's going to be a problem, right? So, what did I do? I just soul shape in line of my healer to get a dispel and actually go here on go here on the rogue but um i try to blade as the rogue out there as you guys can see here i'll slow motion it but the, the rogue actually vanished and blinded my healer now i instantly reacted when i saw the blind on my healer with a blur at this moment so i'm gonna pre-blur right here before the kidney shot lands and my healer just trinkets and we're gonna be fine we just counter their go there's nothing that they can do, right? So I just incap the mage here, force this adaptation, and just start running down at the mage. Start running it down. You can see they did their go, he shadow duels me, the rogue starts running, and they are just kiting us. However, a very nice thing if you play with the rest of shaman is if they put their greater earth elemental on top of the mage, you can see exactly where the mage is. So I'm instantly just chasing the earth elemental to go on top of the mage, right? Now here I actually try to maybe meta the Nova or something, but I'm just doing damage. And I stun the mage full, and we get a block without using the hunt. I'm trying to see where the rogue is. The rogue is just in stealth, and they have another go. So I have trinket available, right? And my healer has a trinket available. So I can decide to do two things. I can redo a go, like, but I know if my healer gets CC'd, like, sorry, let me rephrase. I can actually pre-do a go if my healer gets in CC. I'm not gonna pre-do something or without my healer being in CC, right? Always only pre-do stuff when your healer is CC'd. So I'm just looking what's happening and I see that the rogue is walking towards my healer, which gives me enough time to react to pre-dark here before he shadow step cheap shots me. Now the mage gets his sheep off and they just meteor, they're not, they're not popping really combustion, but he's in a full sheep and he's casting mirror storm on me. I'm like, you know what? That silence is annoying. I'm just gonna reverse this right now. I flourish out, I reverse the poly on my healer and the Mirrors of Torment, and I'm gonna go straight on the top of the mage, just be aggressive, okay? We have like 10 seconds before they can do literally anything. Now we have to score a kill because he has no block either. You can see the rogue is just, in this moment guys, you should not be scared. You should be not scared at all. You should only be scared when this three seconds and this kidney shot or this sheep is over on your healer, okay? So I stun the mage here, he has no trinket, I just hunt him, and I proc him, and I kill him right away. If they had another go what i could have done is i could have pre-blurred or if i wouldn't have pre-blurred i could have tricked another walked and i still have my darkness legendary so there were so many things that we still could do to survive against them but we still managed to win because we push so hard on top of them and don't let them reset uh, when they just did their go and that is very important do not let them reset and you need to play aggressive when you know you have to play aggressive and just try to pre-dark and pre-blur stuff so you don't have to use major those. 
all right guys so that's it for this video thank you guys so so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you guys learned something as well that's most importantly that's why i make these videos if you guys want to know something else like some other comp how to play against please let me know in the comments i'm gonna make a video about it then and yeah don't forget to subscribe leave a like leave a comment what you want to see next and uh, i'll see you guys on the next video man peace